Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin the process of removing the carburetor, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws, securing the engine cover. Release the starter rope from the retainer and pull the cover off. Use a 5 16th inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw securing the air filter cover. Remove the cover and the filter, then use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw securing the carburetor cover. Pull the cover off and remove the three screws securing the air filter housing. Detach the breather tube to release the housing. Now use pliers to detach the air vane spring. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the shoulder bolts securing the vane to the carburetor. Use locking pliers to crimp the fuel line. Then release the retaining clamp and pull the fuel line off of the carburetor. Use a 3 8 inch socket or nut driver to remove the carburetor mounting bolts. Detach the carburetor from the throttle rod and set it on a sturdy surface. Use pliers to pull out the choke plate and remove the choke arm. You're now ready to begin installing the new rebuild kit components applicable to your carburetor. Slide the old washer off of the choke arm and replace it with the new one. Reinsert the choke arm into the carburetor and replace the choke plate to secure. Repeat this procedure to replace the throttle arm washer. Use a half inch socket to loosen the carburetor bowl mounting nut. Unthread the nut and pull off the bowl. Pull out the pins securing the float assembly and lift off the float and needle. Use a 1 16th inch punch to remove the old needle seat. Pull off the old bowl gasket. Position the new gasket on the carburetor. With the groove side facing down, insert the new needle seat. You can use a 3 16th inch punch to fully seat it. Attach the new needle to the float. Then position the needle and float and secure it with the new pin. Replace the bowl. Remove the old washer from the mounting nut and slide on the new one. Thread the nut and tighten to secure the bowl.
Before you reinstall the carburetor, replace the O-ring on the intake port. Reattach the carburetor to the throttle rod and secure the carburetor with the mounting bolts. Replace the shoulder bolt to secure the air vane. Reattach the air vane spring. Reattach the fuel line to the port on the carburetor and secure it with the retaining clamp. Remove the locking pliers. Replace the old air cleaner gasket with the new one. Reattach the breather tube to the breather post and align the air filter housing. Then re-thread the screws and torque them to three and a half foot-pounds. Realign the carburetor cover and re-thread the screw. With the filter in place, reposition the filter cover and re-thread the screw to secure. Realign the engine cover. Re-thread and tighten the mounting screws. Depress the bail arm, extend the starter rope, and secure it in the retainer. With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, and your engine should be ready for use.